I think that uh, after ratification of Malta Convention by my country, probably the best thing that uh, had place recently was the fact that uh, our institute became a member of the uh, UC in March. That's really something I expect to influence positively the practice uh, of archaeology in Bulgaria. Uh, in order to not demonstrate a kind of ignorance, I quickly read uh, Article 4 and 9 of the Malta Convention, and I can say that uh, there is no problem with uh, implementation of 4, but uh, as for the 9, and to make our stuff uh, really most uh, accepted, popular, and uh, at cause cause of our people, we have uh, many things to do in the future. But um, in the introduction, it is uh, important to uh, emphasize that uh, only two years after the fact we became a member of the uh, European Union, uh, a new Cultural Heritage Act uh, was adopted uh, e and quite acceptable from the professional point of view of archaeologists. Uh, I would say in the very beginning. Uh, unfortunately, this discourse, this debate about uh, how to protect and how better um, make popular and sociable cultural heritage is not very uh, frequently um, on the table of uh, professionalists, whatever in my country. It's really very pity. Between the archaeological collegium, we are really sharing opinion, <coughs> criticism, uh, hopes, etc. Uh, there, there were an institute, uh, institute about cultural heritage, but it was closed. Actually, there are two, three persons engaged with the problematic if that could exist really, two, three persons uh, in the Ministry of Culture, but uh, the um, efficiency, the effectiveness of this work is really uh, very, very low, totally unsatisfactory. So another good thing is that um, in the Article 2, it was written that uh, archaeological sites are uh, object and object originating from the territory are public state property. It is still valid and it works quite good. And that uh, the resource needed for rescue field work uh, should be provided uh, by the contracting authority. It is still valid and uh, for the moment it's uh, working, but, but with a kind of uh, bad symptoms. Uh, first time about the so-called preliminary archaeology, preventive archaeology, etc., we started to to do, not even to articulate uh, as such uh, in 2004 <coughs> when I was invited by Kaidi, as usual by Jean-Paul Demou in Lyon conference of EAA to present the beginning of the contract between the uh, Archaeological Institute because our institute is the methodological center. Some Someone can say it's a, uh, uh, let's say, some kind of remain from the communist uh, era with the monopoly of the state of one institute, etc. But believe me, it is practice that is really uh, quite good and we have not any objection about that till now. We have not objection even of uh, another institutions, authorities, which are dealing with uh, archaeological problematic. Uh, so uh, then the first uh, negotiation and contract with the agency dealing with uh, uh, high, high motorway uh, infrastructure, etc., uh, started. Until now, it's uh, progressively really arising, and uh, it is the, the most, uh, let's say, um, big scale and um, productive uh, field of archaeological research in Bulgaria. We are calling not the preventive archaeology, but the rescue or salvage archaeology. I think it's just a matter of uh, terminology, not of the um, content of the, of the work and the theoretical concept of this work. What was very positive, uh, uh, it is that uh, uh, we have uh, opportunity to make a survey in a big scale. We have a particular program called Archaeological Map of Bulgaria with really very extensive survey, marking, fixing, uh, documenting uh, with, with details the, the promising uh, spots of territory in Bulgaria where the archaeological uh, trench excavation or bigger scale excavation are really needed. And uh, it is always uh, thinking in mind by the 
contractors that we have to uh, buy, uh, let's say, priority this work instead to start to look uh, sim spontaneously for something where to put some money and to do some probably uh, useless uh, um, excavation. And um, con regulation of con on conducting archaeological fiel field work is a quite big document created with the efficient help and really big help of uh, and efforts by uh, archaeologists, professionalists, and it's a uh, inscription with a minor details about how archaeological uh, works, different kind of, uh, should be done, uh, how the documentation should be prepared, how uh, and who is allowed to apply for a permission permit for uh, uh, excavation, uh, all kinds of uh, condition, uh, prescription, etc. And um, I think, in my view, it was one of the biggest success of our collegium uh, of archaeologists, uh, because uh, till now, uh, everything is really uh, in a good format, and because it was a discussion about uh, archives, documentation, etc., uh, the aspect of documentation is uh, very, very well developed because the requirement is very severe. If you don't present a detailed documentation in a paper and digital uh, format, you are really absolutely not allowed to apply for a pen. So you can forget about the fieldwork. And uh, every year we have so-called uh, report session. It's a huge meeting of archaeologists where everyone uh, report in detail, again, with documentation, PowerPoint, uh, somehow interpretation of what uh, Han as a uh, fieldwork in situ. And uh, the, this scientific committee of archaeology should approve the, and accept the work. If not, the work will be, will be stopped. As I said, rescue archaeology, it is the term uh, adopted in uh, um, my country. And um, as I said as well, uh, our institute is the main institution dealing with uh, all aspects of this work, theoretically, practically, uh, applications, negotiations with uh, contractors, with Ministry of Culture. In several cases, Ministry of Culture start uh, to, to, to to be willing to mediate in this process, but uh, I don't think it's an uh, it's, um, efficient function. But uh, at least we have not still, or not yet, the big problems with Ministry of Culture. The problems are for the, on the other level with uh, um, development-led uh, partners. Uh, several images of uh, the, this uh, year running uh, rescue excavation on the Struma motorway, <coughs> really big scale. Some of them are uh, quite uh, relevant scientifically. Uh, some of them uh, succeed to, to catch the attention of the public. And uh, even we had a kind of, uh, without precedent till now, very large scale movement of uh, um, population in the region where the, the uh, excavation were in order to um, prevent the archaeological site and the, the people it is just the people from the region uh, who climbed uh, to make a kind of uh, in situ museum or uh, somehow to, to conserve, to restore and to offer for the future generation the, the finds uh, made by archaeologists. Unfortunately, uh, their um, spontaneous demonstration was uh, not uh, well accepted by politicians, uh, even by some of the archaeologists, because they didn't put such attention and didn't agree that is the the only site that deserves such kind of uh, particular uh, investment and uh, uh, expeditions. So it was just um, as a kind of example that uh, uh, some unknown way the community, the society could feel could become very engaged with the kind of uh, uh, work linked uh, with uh, archaeological excavations. Yeah, they are always very impressive as picture, uh, these excavations. What is uh, unfortunately uh, the big uh, unsatisfactory uh, side is that uh, it is totally impossible to exhaust all this territory uh, in, the, in the aspect of uh, very careful uh, archaeological uh, 
uh, stratigraphic uh, excavation, documentation, and interpretation. Some of the, this huge territory could be done properly, but some is uh, not possible to be finished, uh, and we are just satisfied to fix the uh, archaeological structure, etc., to put some notes, some preliminary comments, without uh, opportunity to achieve uh, stratigraphically, properly, <coughs> Uh, the archaeological excavation on such huge uh, infrastructure pro uh, projects. And uh, the graphs that my director prepared in this presentation are uh, very, very clear. Uh, it's not uh, necessary for me to animate them, but uh, as you see, there is a more or less balanced uh, uh, quantity of uh, excavation uh, in Bulgaria in the last decade. Territorially, it's uh, not... Uh, in a necessary equilibrium, but it's not uh, necessary to be, by the way. There is always territory a little bit advanced and uh, other uh, a little bit uh, late. But more or less, uh, we keep to um, push the, the work uh, in all uh, regions of, uh, of country. <coughs> you see, it's a little bit more interesting uh, in some Years, regular excavations uh, predominated. That is, uh, from present date the point of view, it's even curious for, for myself. Because uh, what I remember from the last decades, it's a prevalence of the rescue excavations totally, as financial resource, uh, as a scale, um, as a effect, post excavation, post field effect, uh, as, the, as um, if, you, if you want uh, perspective. Uh, and so on. It is interesting uh, because, uh, to be frank, uh, it's from time to time uh, you hear, we hear a kind of voices claiming for, uh, uh, okay, Archaeological Institute uh, contain, let's say, the, the, her, the core of the professionalists uh, in archaeology, but they are museums, they are universities, etc. But let's tell you that uh, in uh, very few universities in Bulgaria, in spite of the fact that they are huge amount, uh, but I mean just a real, normal, adequate, scientifically based university, there are very few uh, archaeologists. So the concentration is in our, our institute, and in some of the big uh, <coughs> cities of, uh, of the country, there are occasionally some archaeologists but not regularly, not obligatory. So this uh, prevalence of uh, uh, blue is uh, not uh, just because the Institute would like to be a monopolist, to act as monopolist uh, and to make this balance in the relationship with uh, other colleagues. It is just the reality. As you see, Municipalities try to participate uh, with some fundings, uh, but uh, even out of the crisis, it's uh, very rare cases of success. And uh, that is the state till now that is really keeping to provide necessary, probably existence minimum, but necessary for carrying, carrying out uh, every single year some kind of excavation money. And uh, Foreign, as we see, international so-called projects or program, etc., is negligible. That is a little bit sad, and we have to, put, to pay attention more of that. My colleagues, me, etc. And yeah, last year the state is really remarkably generous. I don't know if it is a tendency or a kind of uh, political conjecture, and you can expect some bad news uh, in the. Uh, future, but uh, till now the, the dialogue is okay. The state is prevailing, definitely. The private money are not uh, uh, very much. It's uh, in contrast with the private appetite uh, about uh, making archaeology a kind of uh, hobby, business, uh, and uh, collections uh, for the new rich people. Because of the totally not uh, based on the normal uh, archaeological survey reasons, 
as you see, South Bulgaria was recently much more, more developed uh, in the sphere of uh, rescue excavations, but it is just uh, because Europe uh, provides us money for the infrastructure and uh, uh, regions uh, to whom was uh, really offered this money is in South Bulgaria. There are some plans to start to do something more extensively in the northern part of the country, but it is still a kind of in the sphere of, uh, let's say, wishes and uh, perspectives. Uh, as for the regular excavation, the equilibrium, the balance is uh, more or less uh, stable. And it is normal because the, the professionals, they are really trying somehow not to, to go very deep and very um, accentuating to some region uh, and to, to, le to less uh, another uh, absolutely uh, deprived of by archaeology. And here is the, the moment to say that uh, uh, I saw something uh, similar only in uh, Israeli. Uh, Bulgaria is small, but uh, it's difficult to find uh, several square kilometers uh, without archaeological remains. It's really extensively uh, rich uh, in uh, remains everywhere. The problem is how we will be able, if we will be able, to provide uh, relevant and uh, useful work uh, on, on them. You see how the state is uh, becoming representative in this graph. And Ministry of Culture tried to, to be a little bit visible, but uh, uh, I couldn't say that is a uh, very successful thing until now. And uh, here I should uh, emphasize <coughs> that um, it is a little bit in the context of uh, what we discussed of the so-called uh, president working uh, lunch, uh, which kind of skills archaeologists should um, cultivate in themselves in, in order to respond to the uh, present day challenge, in order to to continue to be alive and not to die, because uh, there was a very, let's say, dark perspective uh, uh, articulated by some colleagues. And uh, here I, I should say that, uh, in my personal view, it is quite enough if in one archaeological uh, community there are several person of persons of one or, uh, I don't know, who are capable to, be, to keep competent uh, and informed in legislation, in the theoretical and practical opportunities to implement this legislation adequately uh, in the country, and to be able to find people, if they, not, uh, they are not capable to do themselves, to negotiate between the uh, interest of archaeologists and the interest of developers. It's not to everyone, every archaeologist, to deal with such skills, because that, that will be in my, uh, in my imagery, that will be in a, total chaos and uh, uh, anarchical way to, to try to do something useful and the final results uh, I think will be not at all uh, what we would like to be. So I can say that uh, the director of our institute actually will have a very soon new one, I hope it will go to the same direction, uh, was not a lawyer, was not an economist, fi financist, etc. in the beginning, it's just a very good scholar. But the position that uh, he had and the ambition, ambition to do something really good for the, for the people, for the colleagues, for the country, for the so-called archaeological heritage, ergo cultural heritage, uh, made him to be really very, very efficient, surprisingly for me and many other people, on these levels I mentioned uh, before. So I don't think every one of us should be a kind of uh, super uh, human being, uh, capable to deal with all kinds of challenges, but we have to, uh, to choose as uh, leading uh, um, persons in our small communities, uh, individual who has this capacity. And uh, the text that you'll see, several uh, slides, I will not read because it's stupid to read something that's written, but just pay attention to that because it, uh, it is his uh, reasoning about the problems that he, he think are really critical uh, in uh, archaeological practice uh, and uh, life in Bulgaria. And uh, he is very 
aware that uh, the appetite that uh, he called up of uh, NGO, uh, private collection, uh, uh, rich people, uh, politicians uh, with um, pseudo-cultural ambitions want to do is to introduce a private sector in our archaeology but without any normal uh, and uh, let's say growth till now basis to do that smoothly and normally. It will be just uh, as this ridiculous uh, uh, jump uh, from uh, socialist to savage capitalism as in my country and some, probably in some other that has nothing to do with democracy, with our hopes, or our, our uh, let's say dreams, etc. So, mm, me personally, I'm skeptical as well. It's not because I'm solidarity, in solidarity with uh, my director, but uh, uh, what you have now as a, a monopole of the state on everything that is in the field of archaeology, in the field and in the laboratory and in the uh, scientific audience, I think it's uh, something that is really still working and at least uh, um, preventing uh, a brutal introduction of uh, interest that uh, for sure will not be uh, harmonious in the interest with the interest of the uh, professional archaeology. So you see the, there is a clerk uh, used as uh, terminology. And um, this question uh, and the uh, sentence in bold, I think even the, the question could be a little bit uh, reformulated is the question not whether and but when the archaeological goods will be admitted. And um, till now there is no symptoms that uh, it will be process uh, going for the common, let's say, um, solid view and uh, success and uh, agreement, etc. Uh, there, there are municipalities and um, for example, people working in the tourism uh, sphere that will be very happy to have uh, private uh, companies and NGO, etc., in order to push a little bit uh, archaeology more deeply involved in the so-called uh, uh, cultural tourism. But uh, this cultural tourism it, um, is not always cultural, and what is uh, offered to the public some, somehow it's uh, not uh, something uh, uh, appreciable, but just uh, uh, Butaphoria of uh, archaeological uh, ruins, etc. So, um, we archaeologists, uh, when we share our opinion about that, uh, still are, we are still skeptical about promoting uh, uh, private archaeological units in Bulgaria. Just because, as I said, emphasized and will repeat, uh, we have not good tradition in uh, this uh, field of uh, uh, private community dealing with uh, state. Uh, property and there, there will be collision. It's uh, it's for sure. And uh, what uh, we articulate uh, quite often is probably it's not relevant in the context of what Leonard know and uh, we all, you all discuss here. But uh, and probably it's a little bit futuristic and surrealistic. But um, if there is a law uh, to to be inequivocally uh, implement uh, as a kind of prescription for uh, archaeolo archaeological uh, heritage, uh, uh, it will be okay. <laughs> because uh, every nation, every country um, adoption of some document, uh, as one colleague says, said uh, very well, it's a matter of uh, concrete political um, situations, circumstances, dialogue between professionalists and politicians. But I think if there is something that is severe law in European scale, uh, the politicians uh, who are always very keen to be very, very nice uh, with the Brussels uh, uh, bureaucracy, they will be thinking a little bit more uh, on, this, uh, on this field. And the last sentence is good, uh, but it's a little bit, uh, let's say, depressing. And uh, it is, it's all. Thank you.